Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do um, your 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aries, we start off with um, we start off with uh, health declining. Um, now it could be your health, and and I'm picking up emotional health. You also could um, be in social work, or you help other people with their emotional health or well-being. You may even help children with the Queen of Cups here. Um, you're a good listener. You give good advice. It's because you don't really. Um, you're not super attached to the outcome. Um, you just know how to give the advice and move on. Something you do here, um, it, it bodes well with the person that you are. Um, also, you're at a place of trying to protect your emotional stability. Therefore, you can't take on all of these energies, all of this. I heard, what is, okay. Mayhem dismay disdain i don't know what is going on here i don't know if you work in kind of like a chaotic setting or you work in the midst of chaos you try to uh, make sure that everything is functioning something about um you just need to protect your own emotional health be focused on you and the, and the development of you and your emotions okay um, you could be dealing with somebody who's very materialistic, or this is you. Someone is materialistic as F, okay? And they may be making a small purchase, getting something that they want. Uh, good news. Uh, they're going to explore uh, something new. Um, it's small here. Also, it, it's like maybe like there's, a, there's some grounding that is happening with you also. Um, someone could have said something to you to where it kind of grounds you or brings you back down to size, makes you kind of prioritize or look at something differently, makes you explore, you know, different avenues. Maybe you are materialistic. Maybe you're going to explore um, more spiritual because sometimes the wands talks about spirituality. Um, you want to explore uh, and be more spiritual and try to um, kind of get in tune with yourself. This also talks about having a renewed sense of self. So maybe you were hiding behind the materialistic things and now you're going to go into a whole different facet, a whole different way of existing, a whole different way of life. Um, or this is what someone else is going to do or they're trying to do. You could deal with somebody who travels for work or this is what they were attempting to do. We can get away in reverse with the Eight of Cups. I don't know if they do travel towards you or you travel towards them. Things aren't going to turn out the way that um, you expected. This is a great emotional decision to either go or to come. The Eight of Cups talks about leaving, leaving something behind that you invested in. Going into this, so some of you are not going to choose to have some relationship that just comes and goes, where somebody's just very very in and out of your life. Um, you don't want to be a part of that. You don't want to be a part of the weekend getaway, you know, for for your person or vice versa. Someone doesn't want to be a part of you having them as a weekend getaway. So they made a really tough emotional decision to check out of this. And they're going and they're going to explore on their own. Or this is you, Aries. They, you know, they don't know where they're going to land, but they know that it's not best to be here. And that's could be how you feel. Or the other person feels so one just feels like no i'm not i'm never going to get my happily ever after dealing in this so no no deal and they're, they're out um we've got closed off to love coming in reverse which is good because it says that someone is open to love the high priest is here um uh, this could be the woman who lives alone she's wise she's older she may even have children or uh, not um she could have already you know started her life been married, divorced, separated of some sort. She's uh, a threat to other women too, not just because of the way she looks or or um, or whatnot, but it's the way she carries herself, the energy that surrounds her. Um, you've also been through some cycle areas where 
you were closed off to love and now you're open to it. You've come into understanding that you are divine. You are divine feminine. This is the divine feminine energy here. You're like in a gestation period. You're really learning about you, getting into spirituality, into spirituality, grounding your energy, grounding yourself, being more realistic. And that's what you're doing in this gestation phase, where th this growth phase. And then you're going to come into maybe the Empress phase, where you'll be able to start something new. It'll be grounded. It'll be real. Um, it'll be tangible. But right now, you're just at a place of learning you again, learning to love, learning to understand um, the self-sacrificing um that you have done or you are doing in relationships. You're moving on from turbulence and problematic relationships and the hurt from previous connections. It just makes sense to do so. And you're at that place um, of healing, moving on and healing. So this is, this is what I have for you, Aries. If it resonates, please go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question. Uh, the, the text you can text your question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Aries. Many blessings to you.